But what does it mean for the language to be pure? Or when people say they want English to be pure, what are they talking about? Was Shakespeare pure? I mean, uh, in fact, uh, every stage of history, languages are, there is, first of all, there is no such thing as a language. There are just mm -hmm. lots of different ways of speaking that different people have, which are more or less similar to one another. Uh, and and uh, some of them may have, may, may have prestige associated with them. Uh, in fact, language, the way we use it, is some very complicated socio-political notion which has not much to do with things that are in people's heads. And sometimes it may be useful to follow some rule that some, somebody made up for some arbitrary reason that's followed in the formal, uh, in, in the you know, literary canon. Okay, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's basically a question, it's the same kind of question. It's a question of whether to accept usually artificial norms that have been designed for whatever purpose. They have no status other than the status that people agree to give to them. As any scientist ought to understand, or anyone uses their sense, if the people in East Oakland happen to have all the money and power, uh, Ebonics would be good English, and what they talk at Princeton and Yale would be some weird kind of dialect or something like that. I mean, whatever these things are, they're not psychological or biological or linguistic notions. There's nothing right or wrong about driving on the right. Okay, it's just, you know, there's a law that says drive on the right. And life is better in that case if everybody follows the law, so you follow it. In other cases, like uh, norms of grammar, it's almost totally arbitrary. It's like whether you should wear a tie. You, know? uh, you can decide to do it because it's easier to get by in the world or whatever, but uh, there's nothing of any significance about it. For example, some of them may be the the speech of a conquering group, or a wealthy group, or a, a priestly caste, or one thing or another, and we may decide, okay, those are the uh, the good ones, and some other ones the bad one. But if uh, if social and political relations reversed, we'd make the opposite conclusions. Let's right, say take Black English today. Black English is considered not quite proper English. On the other hand, if blacks happen to have all the power and uh, own all the corporations and whites were working for them, it would be the other way around. Okay, Black well, English would be the language of culture and science and so on, and the stuff that you and I speak would be considered a degenerate dialect, which you have to get people out of so that they'll be able to think.